Hi Melissa, uh, this is uh, the only second recorded message I've sent. Uh, I've just found out how to do this, but it's quite fun. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm in uh, Amsterdam. Um, I, I don't know whether you have read or seen the bits that I've put up recently. Uh, I tried to get into Toronto, I was refused entry. A lady in Toronto whose name is Sorza said she spoke to you on the phone and that you were, uh, you were scared. Um, I don't know why you're scared of me personally, the situation's a little bit weird and I have perhaps implicated, um, there are implications. Um, I'm, I, I'm gonna say I'm sorry, I don't, I'm, I am sorry that I'm not there, I'm sorry that you're scared, uh, I'm not sorry for what I've written as yet, uh, I think if I was that be a really impingement upon freedom of uh, information and to be able to write in a public space and about something that is quite, it's very interesting and um, yeah I'm really sorry I can't be there it's been really bad uh, Amsterdam's all right uh, the Pride Festival uh, if you were here you could do some face makeup and stuff It'd be really good it's this weekend uh, I'm hoping to still be able to be here, but most of the money is now gone. Uh, I lost 1,200 um, booking flight and hotel to Canada. And then somebody has now gone and used my card somehow and has taken uh, three amounts of money from my account, which we're still investigating. I've got to go to the police tomorrow. I hope you can see from these videos that I am sane and I'm friendly and nice. Uh, good. Uh, my parents are getting old, um, they've not really had the most stable marriage or life. Um, I think my dad's quite paranoid, perhaps, for some of the things he's done. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going to happen to me next. I'm, I'm most likely going to be heading back to England. I have been looking for work here. Um, I could maybe spend the next two days um, just contacting people I know and trying to find out if there's anybody in Amsterdam who would help me or who would put me up whilst I look for some work here. There was some uh, advertised positions in uh, some of the coffee shops and some of the other places around the red light district, uh, which is not a bad area to work. It's, it's actually all right. Uh, it does need a refurb from a non... Well, I don't really think it's immoral, personally, but I do think that there is, um, you know, it needs a refurb, really. So yeah, I'm really emotional and trapped. Um, I'm holding it down. I'm still on penicillin, which is making it difficult to eat. I'm not, uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm not going to put this up publicly. Please, Melissa, do call me. Um, or contact me in some way. Uh, I think it's, it's horrible that two artists um, should be sort of be put in this position. And do you know what? The one thing is, I've, you know, I was at the Van Gogh Museum, and the way they manipulate, uh, the way artists are manipulated in their relationships, that's something that I really don't want to play into, and I don't want to allow other people's, um, they want me to use the word manumissions to uh, interfere with two people being friends. The art, <laughs> I was, the arts aren't really that important to me, I suppose. Uh, I enjoy it, it's something that I can do and I'm uh, pleased to be working with this sort of administrative idea, but I'm not gonna let that get in the way of me having good friends. Uh, registered saying, everywhere I go, adult people who are sane also like me. Um, I don't get on so well with cokeheads. Um, I hope, I don't know, I'm not going to say that either because Miss Melissa Bernard, you can do as you want. Um, I just hope you're not doing anything that's silly or harmful to yourself. I am smoking some skunk out here. It's sort of alleviating some back and neck pain. Uh, this is kind of gone. I don't know whether you saw the other photos either. They're pretty grotesque. Uh, it's sort of gone, but then it's not, but it's not what it was, so. Uh, 